costs in general are getting more expensive, so living is more expensive. Because the cost of healthcare is going up, that's my understanding. So they're greedy, they want to make more money, I suppose. I don't know, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. More claims. Based on like doctor's fees and ambulance or like, yeah, hospital cover, um, certain expenses. Is it terrible that I have no idea? <laughs> that's just a guess. <laughs> Have you ever noticed how, unlike other insurance, your health insurance never goes up when you make a claim? That's because most insurance, like your car or life insurance, is risk rated. This means your insurer figures out your premiums based on how likely you are to claim. They also increase your premiums when you do claim and can offer a no claims bonus when you don't claim. On the other hand, health insurance in Australia is community rated. This means your premiums aren't based on how likely you are to claim. Instead, community raising basically says health insurance must be equally accessible. It should cost the same, regardless of your health status, claims history, or personal traits like gender or age. It's also the reason that unlike other insurers, health insurance can't offer a no claims bonus. Community rating is part of the legislation that governs health insurance in Australia and was introduced by the Australian Government in the National Healthcare Act of 1953. It's practiced in just a few other countries, including Switzerland and the Netherlands. Thanks to community rating, Australians can relax knowing that if they get sick, injured, or have a history of illness, they'll be treated fairly and won't be locked out of the private system or hit with higher premiums. It's a key reason why Australia is considered to have one of the best healthcare systems in the world, ensuring a strong and financially accessible system that takes pressure off the public system. But world-class healthcare comes at a cost, one that, in recent years, has seen sharp growth. To cover the rising cost of healthcare, health funds must increase their premiums. So how do they do this when premiums are community rated? Every year, health funds in Australia go through a process called rate review. During this time, health funds figure out how much they'll need to adjust their premiums to manage the rising cost of healthcare. It kicks off when the Minister for Health announces the submission period for next year's premium increases. Health funds crunch their numbers to work out what the company currently receives in premiums versus what it pays out in claims. They use this data, in addition to their operating cost data, to work out how much money they'll need to cover the cost for the coming year. Once they finish their calculations, each health fund puts forward a proposed average premium increase. These submissions are carefully examined by the Minister of Health's office and APRA, and once everyone's happy, the Minister announces the new rates via the media. The rate that gets reported by the media is actually an average increase across a health fund's entire range of products. That means, depending on your product, you might get a premium increase that is above or below this reported average. No health fund knows what any other health fund's increase will be until the Minister of Health announces the new rates. Despite this, rate increases are usually pretty similar. That's because all health funds face similar pressures when it comes to keeping their premiums down, the biggest pressure being the rising costs of healthcare. A common complaint around rate review is that health insurance increases are more than double the rate of inflation. What many people don't realise is that the rate of inflation reported in the media is the overall rate of inflation, calculated using the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. The CPI represents the average changing cost over time of a basket of goods and services in Australia. It's calculated quarterly and includes things you literally put in a shopping basket, like bread, butter and toilet paper, to more expensive things, like healthcare and education. For the past five years, the overall CPI in Australia has risen by about 1-3% to every year. If you take healthcare out of the basket and look at it in isolation, you get a figure for health inflation, the average increase in the cost of healthcare. Health inflation in Australia has been rising between 3.6 to 7.7% every year for the past five years more than double that of overall inflation. Health inflation is outpacing overall inflation for lots of different reasons. There's our ageing population, a rise in chronic illnesses, advancing medical technologies making procedures more expensive and more people than ever using the healthcare system. 
When health insurers adjust their premiums, they're tackling health inflation, not overall inflation, to ensure that they can responsibly meet the rising cost of claims. At least, that's what not-for-profit health funds are doing. For-profit health funds pay dividends. So if you're a member of a for-profit health fund, your premium increase includes a little bit of money that will go straight into the shareholder's pocket. With not-for-profit health funds, premium contributions only ever go towards paying claims and covering the cost of the business. While it's helpful to know where your money is going, unfortunately, regardless of whether you're with a for-profit or not-for-profit health fund, your premium will still go up. So, what can you do to get your health insurance premium under control? There's actually heaps of things you can do to help get your costs down. But here are some quick tips to get you started. You can talk to your health fund to see if they offer a discount for paying in bigger chunks, like yearly instead of every fortnight. You can increase the excess on your hospital insurance. A bigger excess generally means a smaller premium. Finally, you can review the services on your policy to make sure you're only paying for what you need. To find out more about getting your costs down, get in touch with your health fund and they'll be able to help you out.